Hey YouTube, this is Kay. Um, yeah, my hair is looking a mess. Just got off from work. But I'm gonna do something for me. I'm doing my hair. So um I just washed my hair last week. I'm not gonna wash it again. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna do a little bit of a kind of like a faux hawk. So I have a bunch of gel in my hair, not only gel. I don't know if I mentioned this, but the Mrs. Jesse Strength Silkening Cream doesn't work so well on my hair. My nephew tried it out too, and he had really bad flakes. And I was like, well, did you put water in it? He was like, yeah, I did too. Made me have really, really bad flakes. I was thinking maybe it was my gel, but I was like, I've used this, the Echo Styler gel before, and I never had flakes. But for some reason, now I do. So, um, I'm going to do a little faux hawk. So I'm going to go ahead and separate my hair. I'm going to co-wash it so it's a little more manageable because I have like crazy thick hair. And I want that one going at an angle. So I'm going to go back to about here. And then go down to, yeah, that's the thickness to there like so and I'm just gonna put loose um, plaits in it and rinse it out with water put a little conditioner in it and then rinse it again well put a bunch of conditioner in it then I'll go by section detangle and then I will, um, from there, start braiding my hair. This section will be braided back, and you'll see that later. And then I'll have individual braids in the center. So, I had this idea before. Um, when you see me with, um, like, an updo with some twists and braids on the side, I had a, the, the same idea, but I just got lazy. Don't tell anyone. That seems to be a common denominator for me. I just got lazy. So, my parts aren't that straight. I really don't care, honestly. So. Here's cricket. I just noticed that. Well, no, maybe it's not. It just wasn't setting my head up straight. That's why. Still looks cricket. Yeah, more on this side. That's straight. That was crooked. It still look crooked. I don't know. Not doing it again. And don't ask me why my hair looks so straight when it's dry, but it just does for some reason. But I think I'm like a 4D. <laughs> I don't even know if that's a classification, but that's how. I just have very, very thick hair. And it doesn't... Um, I don't have a great curl pattern, so I have to like do braid outs and twist outs if I want any type of curl pattern. And I usually put like rods or rollers at the end.
braid the back in two sections because my back is like really really thick the back portion of my hair I have like this middle portion that is like um really thick really full and that's why I'm like pre-parting with my hands because it's horrible if it's not wet I'm gonna keep trying to keep my parts kind of straight I really can't see back there so does it really matter and like if you have a really tangled area like I do back here yeah the center in my hair I really don't comb it the edges get combed but the center is like it's really matted because I just put it back in a bun every day for work so that's why it's kind of matted and it looks uneven it looked better once I um have it I co-wash it and detangle so last section And I'm shedding because, like I said, I haven't combed my hair in like a week. All I do is um, take my ponytail out at night, put a wrap scarf on it, and go to sleep. And I like regel my edges if it needs it in the morning. So I have my lovely three, four, five braids. I'm going to co-wash and then um, detangle and then braid it up. So... And I'll show you when I start braiding it up.